Before we get going here, I just wanted to say, even if you are not into makeup and you're like, why would I wash this? You might give it a try because I find declutters super satisfying. I think this one's gonna be really fun because I probably have some makeup in there from like 1998, so. Hey guys, Krista here. Today we are decluttering my vanity. I love makeup, cookies, Pilates, decluttering things. So if you like any of that too, you're gonna love my channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button for new lifestyle videos and vlogs every Tuesday. So go ahead, settle in, get your coffee, get your tea, get ready to watch, or maybe find something in your house to declutter and do it along with me. Here is what we're working with. Let me give you a tour. Um, everything's really dirty, so don't judge me. <laughs> I wanted to give you a good before and after, okay? <laughs> so here's the top. I try to keep like my most used products on the top, but this is like a whole thing of foundations, and as you can see, I haven't used them for a long time. Ew, gross. Who uses foundation during the pandemic? Not me. I also like having brushes on top here because it's easy to grab them and they're just cute. So I'll probably leave a lot of those on there, but I think I can definitely get rid of some of this. So that's the top. Let's do the drawers now. I'm kind of embarrassed. Okay, okay. Before we do this, I need to tell you guys something. First off, I want to say I do enjoy makeup for everyday use. It is a fun hobby for me. So some of it is because of that, but also I'm a performer, I'm an actress, and sometimes you have to do your own makeup. I do a lot of character performing, and for those characters, you have to have really specific colors and different things to transform your face. And so I've accumulated a lot in order to be able to transform into all those characters, but I don't necessarily need all of it anymore but I might keep some of it for fun. I don't know, we'll see. I also wanted to note that a lot of this I got for free or even as a money maker, um, just getting deals on makeup at CVS. So I'm not a hoarder, or maybe I am. <laughs> I don't know, well, you tell me. But basically just don't think that I bought all this with my own money at full price, cause I definitely didn't. Okay, let me give you a quick tour of these drawers. This top drawer has a lot of eyeshadow palettes, other things that I reach for all the time. This drawer, these front items were supposed to be items that I reach for all the time. I don't know if that still holds true, but that's why we're organizing this. <laughs> and then there's more in the back that I'll show you later. This drawer has mostly like lip products, other random eyeshadows and face products. Oh my word, this is embarrassing. And this drawer, <laughs> I don't even know what's in here, you guys. No, I do know what's in here. It's mostly like face wipes and then also overflow. So that's good, but oh my word. We got a lot of work to do here. I would like to pare down quite a lot because this is gonna be the baby's room in just a couple months, but we're not going for makeup minimalism here or anything. I still want to keep all the things that I use on an everyday basis and even keep some of the more costumey makeup just for fun, but I do think there's a lot in here that we can get rid of. So my plan is to take everything out, clean it off, clean out the drawers. Um, I'm gonna time lapse this all for you guys. We'll see how fast I can move in a time lapse. And then at the end, I will organize it all and show you the after. Let's go. So I'm starting off with the top of the vanity, just wiping everything down. It really needed it, as you saw earlier. I've been really into watching Property Brothers lately or just anything on HGTV. I don't know what it is about it. It just makes me feel really relaxed. So it's nice to have on in the background while I'm working. Now we're moving on to the drawers. I'm just taking everything out so we can have a nice clean slate. And I was actually wiping down each item, but then I realized that I just wanted to do that while sitting on the couch later with a TV show. So instead, I'm just taking them out and sorting them into bins depending on what kind of product they are. Wow. Okay, so this is 
this is what we have going on so far. So I took everything out of the vanity and I tried to organize it into different categories of makeup with these bins. So I have like setting sprays, foundations, etc. So the vanity's empty now at least, but oh my word, we have a lot of work to do. But I see a lot of stuff that it's time to get rid of. So let's do it. Now it's time to go through each category of products one by one and get rid of the things that I don't use or don't need. I had a crazy amount of lip products and for me I think that's because I'm always trying to find the perfect nude lip but luckily I've tried all of these now so I know what works and what doesn't and I was able to get rid of a good amount of them. Also, just in case you're wondering, the bin on the left is the products that I'm getting rid of, so we're making good progress here. On to the nail polish. Okay, this declutter definitely needed to happen because I feel like there are about three shades that I use all the time and then the rest are just sitting in there, so that feels really good. Now we are on to the eyeshadow palettes, the lashes. Oh boy, did I have old lashes in here. Out they go. I'm going through my overstock bin now. There's not a lot in here to get rid of because the things that I really stock up on are the things that I already know that I love, but I just wanted to go through and at least organize it. And last but not least, we're doing the face products. Okay, despite what this looks like, I think that was actually pretty good. I would keep going, but I have an appointment, so I gotta go to that, and I think it'll be too dark when I get back. I don't know, we'll see. So we might continue this tomorrow. Okay, see you later. Hey guys, it is day two. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad right now because it is a real gloomy day out today. But let's get into the organizing. So here is what we have all organized into categories. I know it's still a lot of makeup, but I was talking about it with Spencer and I, I'm getting rid of a lot too. And I was thinking, well, should I get rid of more? There are things that I still want to try that I haven't really used that much. And he was like, why get rid of it just to get rid of it? So for now we're holding on to this and if I try it and it's not my thing or I don't use it, out it goes. Now I just got to figure out where to put everything in each of these drawers and how I want to organize it. So let's do it. I wiped out the drawers, so first off I'm just putting the drawer liners back in. And now I'm putting this drawer back together pretty much how it was before. It was a system that worked for me, so why not change it? But this eyeshadow drawer I totally revamped. It took me a few times to figure it out. As you can see, sometimes you just have to do some trial and error. And now I have all the bins with the separate products laid out so I can organize them into their own bins in this drawer. Finally, I'm picking some favorites to sit up on top of the vanity, some favorite lip products and concealers. Here we go, and... And there we have it! I just told Spencer I'm not sure I'm completely happy with this, so we might still be switching things around, but this is what we have for now. Let me give you a tour. So here's the top of the vanity. I left everything pretty much like it was before, except I got rid of all of the foundations and all the stuff on this tray. So now my question is, what should I put on the tray? <laughs> I guess like... When I'm not using this mirror, it could go back here. I don't know. I mean, I guess it still looks kind of cluttered on top, so I could just get rid of the tray or put the brushes on the tray. Does anyone have any suggestions? Let me know. I switched out what was in this little caddy here. I used to have stuff in there that I just thought looked nice, but I decided to try switching out for stuff that I definitely use every day. It's not as pretty, but it should be more functional. Okay, let's do the drawers. Here is the main drawer. I kind of kept it the same as before. In this little thing in the front, I put all of my face products that I use on a regular basis. I don't necessarily use each of these every day, but I like to choose between different blushes, different bronzers, and that kind of stuff. So I have all of them here, easy to grab and choose from, so I make sure I use them. 
Then back here, I have these containers from the dollar store and they are so great for organizing. This one has a bunch of bobby pins and stuff. This one has more hair stuff. Then the third one I decided to use to do like some powder overflow. So things that I like, but I'm not using right now, like I can't use this cause it has SPF in it and I'm pregnant, but I will want to use it when I'm not pregnant. Back here I put more costumey makeup that I don't use all the time. Man, my hand looks veiny, cool. And then some other stuff that I do use but I can't necessarily fit in here. Not totally happy with this drawer but there is so much room in here now. So now I have all my eyeshadow palettes right in this little container. I'm excited about that. Easy to grab and then my mascara. Here's all my foundations, setting sprays, primers. I want to get a bin to put these in. I could also make a lot more space if I just stacked some of these back here so I'll consider that if I need more space in here for something else. But it is nice to be able to see everything and that's my favorite thing about this drawer because now I can see every single one of these primers and little eyeshadows. I have an empty drawer there for something, who knows. Then I have lipstick separated into like gloss and liquid lipstick. And then back here I have a little bin for just more costumey character makeup that I don't use all the time but I might want in the future and lashes. And then finally, this beautiful drawer. Makeup wipes. This middle section is just the container that's full of the overstocks. Ooh, I know there's so much, but I will use it. And thank you CVS for all of this makeup for free. Then I have face masks back here, some nail stuff and more face masks, and then all of my nail polish. I pared it down, so now each one has its own little place. I'm so excited. So there's that bottom drawer. It looks really good and there's more room in this one for more stuff too. So everything is a bit less crammed in here. And by a bit, I mean a lot less crammed. It's great. Well, that's the tour. There's still a lot of makeup in here to play with, which makes me happy. But now there's not anything in here that was going to waste and that I wasn't using. So let me show you what I'm getting rid of real quick. All right, my friends, here it is. I'm not gonna go through because these bins are just full of stuff. There's some stuff in here that I had pretty much used up, like this setting spray is almost empty. Oh, maybe it is empty. So that is garbage, but I need to go through here and throw away the garbage and then whatever is left, I think I'm going to give away on my buy nothing group. If you didn't know, every neighborhood has a buy nothing group and you can put stuff up on your group and see if anyone wants it. And I have been so surprised by the things that people want and will use. So any of this makeup that is like new or just gently used, I'll put up on there and I'll tell people that it is used if it is and we'll see if anyone can use it. But yeah, usually there's always someone who's super excited to get makeup even if it's been used a couple times. So this will not go to waste, don't worry. That also just makes me feel better about giving it away because I would much rather have someone actually be using it than it just sitting in my vanity and taking up space. Okay guys, I think that is it for today's video. I hope you had fun decluttering with me. I know that I did. Let me know down in the comments if you were organizing something today or decluttering or if you have a spot in your house that you need to get to. What is it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed, then give this video a big thumbs up. Hope you all are having a great week. And do I have anything left to say? Nope. Okay, bye. More bins. More bins. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my family. Oh my gosh. That was until I found you.